Welcome back and thank you very much for joining my channel and my video again. Uh, my name is Armin. I am mostly into Asiatic archery for the ones they don't know. And with that I sometimes do bow reviews and today I have a nice package. came from Indonesia. Look how nicely it is packed in foam. There are two bows in it. Today we talk about the smaller one and there comes a small bag with it, I guess with more information. Now you know already from whom it is. Um Aram, Um Maram, Um Ar, I don't know how to pronounce it properly. Um Aram, it's Mohammed Salahidin. Oh, look at this user guide for the tour guy. Barbados Turkish bow. And wow, a user guide. So look at this. You get here short information. It's the Turkish laminated, it's a bow length of 51 inches, bowstring is 47 and a half, max draw is 30, I think, hard to read. Safe draw limit is 28, brace height is 8, string material is BCY Spectra, minimum gram per pound is 9, recommended is 11, bowstring has a span of 49.5, Bow span, unstrung 44.5 and the bow length, unstrung is 52.5 inches. Awesome! And then you get from the Um Aram bow, comp oops, bow Company the user guide for the bow. Oh, wow! That's, that's terms and conditions, warranty, social media, there's the warranty card. Armin in Austria with the serial number and on the back side is an how to take care of the bow. User guidance, product description again. There should be another poundage written maybe, 40 pounds at 28, yes. Nice, it's a natural bamboo with panna, pancarona. That's pretty awesome. So you get everything you need. So now I have two strings and I need to know which one is for which. I guess the shorter one might be for the Turkish one. It's cold, so let's get started. Oh, that so this box can go. The Barbaros. Look at this, a nice sleeve with the logo. So, wow. And nice material, nice and fluffy with two straps there. Look at this. Very nice done, so Mohammed Salahidin. Oh, 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 look at this. Look at this. Oh, Jesus. Nice leaf. Really nice and protective, so wow. We oh, oh, oh. put the sleeve away. Get this bow. Huh? Look at this pretty bow. This holds I saw once. On a bow. Nice. Look at it. Oops, then it shows for whom it is. <laughs> nice. Look, handle. Beautiful. Feels like ray skin. Nice. Wow. And it's a 40 pounder. Looking good. Specifications I gave you all. Oh, no, it's fine. And it has a carbon core. So carbon stable core. Shall I leave the sticker? I leave the sticker on. Handle feels great. This bow is awesome. Well, so the sizes you have or I don't measure them. It's way too cold in here. So. <laughs> it is so cold. It is so cold. So I guess this is for the Barbaros. The longer one is the bottom one. Nice. But I think it's a sticker, right? But it looks cool. Small, very small string guides. This bow is beautiful. 
So max draw 30, carbon stable core, everything you need to know, I told you already. Stringing is easy, it's very easy. So here, let go of the, the bracer. This is the wrong string. <laughs> this is too long. We need the other string. And then it's this string, I guess, no? Oh, yo, yo, my fingers are already frozen. I guess this one is in the top one where there's more stickers. I don't know. Let's see what we get now. But it's still easy to string. Ends up nice in the string pads. Cool. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, nice. Look at this end, it weighs nothing. Speaking of, you wanna know. I give it 310. Yeah, 335. Nice, huh? What a pretty bow. Really colorful wise. So here it's very almost wiggly like the Chinisiri, and in this direction, good sturdy, so no problem at all. Handle feels great. Bow is straight, no problem. What did we have, price height, eight inches? Seven and three quarter, it's okay for me. Look at this, there we go. Oh, yo, yo. oh 40 pounds, 40 pounds, 40 pounds, oh, 30 inches. Feels nice. So here is not much. You feel directly that there is something going on. And the draw is really nice. Really nice. Let's shoot. It's, I'm not well organized and I just found the Korean glove by Freddy Archer, just in case you wanna know. <coughs> I have thumb rings and everything, so yes, of course. We the and, and the knock name I forgot now, Babur. Knock very tight. And it's another topic about how tight a knock shall be. So 30 inches. Very nice. I felt it a little, maybe the arrows are too light where they are 360, I think. And we are 40 pounds, 28, so 45 pounds. A bit too lightweight. But I don't care. <laughs> nice. And look at this. Nice katra. Wow. And it feels fast. Fast. You write everything here. 37 at 28. And then it would be nice to write the poundage directly in full draw to move just my thinking. So it can be that the arrows are a little too lightweight. <coughs> oi, oi, oi. <coughs> <coughs> if I could read what I wrote, it would make life, yeah, 360 grain. <coughs> 45 pounds a bit too But <laughs> nice. You feel it a little in the hand, but it's okay. Awesome. <clears throat> That's a beasty one. Feels good in the hand. Handle is nice. Just fits nice here. Cool. Lightweight performs nice mm. and even with these arrows it's not so bad well done a great job Bum, uh, the carbon core makes sense nice Really great, but did I tell you the price? They have it now on sale, and this bow is 260 US dollars. You can't complain. This is an 
awesome price for a really, first of all, beautiful, and second of all, well-performing bow. Wow, 360 grain, 42 pounds. 204. Oops, 195. This one arrow doesn't fly properly. 199, so 200 foot per second, no problem. My arrows are most probably a little too lightweight. But what I just figured, the one where the knock is very tight is not so, so good in flight. It's, I think, worth a topic and a bit more experimentation. How tight shall the knock sit on the string and what can you do? Because every string is different, every knock is different. Might be a topic for the next video. <coughs> but hey, here, 200 foot per second, niemo problemo. Bit more distance. Great bow, shoots nice. We goes to the left. 200 foot, and these arrows are fine. Now oh, look at this. Gives you nice feedback. Wow, really, $260, hello. Shipping might be a little expensive from Indonesia, but pff, cool bow. I think it's just a nice compromise between length of the bow and draw length. So this bow is just nice. Feels good in the hand. Is predictable, is fast. Let's see. 20, ooh, to the right, 25 meters. Yeah, maybe not completely. 23. Ah, yeah, see? Great, Mohammed. Really nice. Beautiful, I said. Look, I mean, look at this nice. Really well crafted, well made bow. Beautiful. Working is fast, is lightweight. I hold the bow completely upright. Just nice. So with these arrows, you feel it a little in the hand, but it's nothing which would worry me or bother me. And this bow goes really good. A fun shooter gives you confidence directly. You know what the bow is doing. This bow talks to you. Nice. I like it. I mean, here we have these holes for Saving a little. You see them here? Come on. The holes here for saving a little weight. Fine by me. It doesn't harm the stability. You have this phenolic inlays here, or what it is, this brown one here, so it's fine. The one thing maybe in the future, the, this one is quite sharp here, so if you would send this a little down. When you slide the string over here or something, you might damage your, your string. Then you have here this small string paddy here. It's nice and sleek and thin. I mean, this is my finger. It's already oh, purple-ish. I think I need to stop. I shoot one more round and then I stop. 28, 30 inch draw is just fine. So if your draw is short, 28 to 30 inches. This thing just performs nicely. And there's nothing. Oh, this is a shot. This is a cool bow. And another set. There's not much going on. It says one, two, this is nothing. A bit in the handle, but I guess it will go away. Wow, Mohammed, a really well-made bow. I'm looking so forward to test the early Mongolian. This is the Tuguay, or what the name is. I think this is more like my bow. But for a, an Ottoman or a Turkish bow, this one is really nice, lightweight. Draws nice, so in this direction it's nice, flexible. So you, you see that you get a 
nice smooth draw really nice <coughs> draw curve is just wow really wow and for the rest arrow pass is quite narrow i would say 21 millimeters or something so it's fine uh, yeah okay one could make this one a little nicer here but it's just neat picky and the color i don't know where we got this 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 color here from there's no matching color anywhere in the sticker but it's now <laughs> it's fine i'm just joking the bow has no nothing which would bother me besides the sharp this is is this is really sharp so here you really can scratch yourself so and you scratch the string so this one it's it's really razor sharp so you see that how sharp this is this could be a little bit refined but that would be my only critique but it's really nitpicky this bow performs so nice and the stable core in this direction the bow is hardly twisting so it's torque resistant means you can cut rather heck out of this bow <coughs> Barbados. Barbaros. Wow. What a nice bow. And it's, you know, with this sticker on it, it's directly $50 more. <laughs> this is one of these bows which is just enjoyable to shoot. Though so this one you can shoot all day. And it's just fine. Boat just works really nice. Nothing to complain. <laughs> Shah Mohammed, thank you very much for reaching out. Um Aram, Bow Company, a name worth to remember. Really nice made bow, very well made. So there's nothing I would see to complain. If you want to complain about this, it's not very neat here. And the only thing I have is this is sharp edge here. But maybe you have your reasons, but I don't like because they are really when you push the string up, when you string the bow a different way, you can hurt your string. So that's the only thing. The rest is really nice. The stickers, of course, it's a matter of taste. I guess you can make them without too, but I think they work with this bow. Color-wise, design-wise, shape-wise, beautiful. Shooting-wise, Torque resistant, but nice and flexing, but not wobbly. Just a nice balanced bow, really good. Well done, and $260. Lightweight, packs a punch, shoots these arrows. I guess they are a bit too lightweight, but shoots them away like nothing. And this bow is still, even after torquing and whatever, straight. So. Very well made bow. So thank you very much, Um Aram Bow Company, for sending this bow to me. Really nice bow, well made. I am really looking forward now to shoot the other bow, but not today. My fingers are already purple. <laughs> not today. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you very much for subscribing, for watching, for sharing, for commenting and everything. I love you. And I catch you in the next one.